Let us, let us pray first before we um, make this uh, vlog. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and the other evil spirits who wander about the world for the ruin of souls. For Archangel Saint Michael, defend us in battle, so that we may not perish on the terrible day of judgment. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we continue on um, with the topic about Pilzebul. With the small information I got, you know, and then I just take the inspiration of the Lord God. So I'm talking about the LGBTQIA plus community members, you know, the practices, uh, what influences each one you know, to do the sometimes foolish things that um, each one has done or is still doing. So I am trying to be um, a counselor here, a sister in Christ, you know, as a pastor. So take it or leave it, um, members. You know? I am here to present to you facts. You know? My objective is pastoral apostolic so i want you to be in the light and likewise i want you to pray for me also to be in the light all of us are struggling so much with our own weaknesses sinfulness you know confusions um, brought about by the spirit of lust greed you no know, the evil spirits and the spirits of this world you know? so what we could do is to help each other you know be enlightened be cleared you know not to be confused kasi ang hirap hirap po if we decide on things based on you know maling information wrong information or um, incomplete information isn't it so how could you how could one really make a good decision out of it no? so i hope i will not be offending anyone but at the same time look at this as my fraternal charity no fraternal love no, fraternal correction if it is treated as one you know, because I'm trying to um, quest and ask the Lord God for answers on things like this and that so anyway we were talking about um, the influence of Bilzebul in some people so we're talking about the uh, contraceptive injectable no? na pinakita pa nga sa akin nung somebody I was able to see and um when when I ate in one diner in the downtown Naga and I couldn't help but ask no and she was very friendly naman the trans woman she was really pretty no fine skin and everything she showed to me even the injectable because she just ano obtained no mga three pieces yata yun na nabili niya na she is the one who's ano who's who's injecting it to herself no she just buys the syringe with the medicines in inside so it costs 2,000 pesos no? first of all she is not a woman so she takes the contraceptives for the beautification purposes no? and true enough so we, you would wonder my dear brothers and sisters people you might see that before not to not to uh, white and not to fine skin they might be taking injectable contraceptives no? that, that is the effect sometimes may rosy rosy cheeks pa so is it good or is it bad <laughs> if the purpose of getting married is not to bear a child you are in the wrong direction you have not taken marriage in a, in a serious tone <laughs> you are singing wrong melody something like that you know? because marriage is actually really geared and um, the intention is to really form a family but 
it's a different situation and story altogether if the our god in heaven did not allow no a couple to bear a child that's a sacrifice but the main really the main purpose of binding and having union between man and woman in a marriage in a marriage no through the sacrament of matrimony is true love no true love so for me in counseling go on if if you um committed to be in a tie with someone and the basis is true love then go on with the true love you know, even if you have don't if you don't have a child at all you no know, do not despair but i have observed a lot of couples like that they don't have children but they turn into you know both cheating and you know the woman goes for a lot of you know sex shenanigans with a lot of men even dog even women too so just because they don't have kids like okay lang yan kasi wala naman kaming anak parang ginawang compromise na porke walang anak hinalakit kay God they could just do whatever they want no and i could sense that belsible is there no making people to think that it's okay anyway you don't have kids so it's okay for you to cheat and of course also because your husband is also you know having kabit here having mistress there buying prostitutes there indulging in like this like that also into homosexuality you know those are uh, could be attributed to the temptation and actually accomplish work of Beelzebub, you know, along with Satan. In particular, we are talking about Beelzebub because this is a prince of desire, you know, the core of filth, you know, yung kadumihan. So, it is spreading beliefs and false god. I've mentioned already in the last vlog, you know. Kinoconvince niyan yung tao na ay mali yan, Jesus Christ is not God something like that oh God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit no we only have one God sabi nilang ganon no? and then yun na dapat ang yung worship yung pala si Satan yun na in another name lang no? so we need to check we really need to be checking on things you need to check no sasabihin ganito tapos in the form of napakaganda no just like just like with a ano um, a cake no with a gorgeous icing no multicolor thing but when you slice it up oh you're gonna find out inside that there are worms it's not good for eating it's not sweet at all something like that and that that is really the game from hell deceiving us that's why each one of us must be vigilant my dear brothers and sisters no? so I hope I am making sense kahit, kahit pa unti unti so spreading beliefs and false god no? and making it into a religion no? so going back there sa religion no? so you have to check sasabihin we are bible based Praise be the, no, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But in practice, what do they do? They sacrifice virgins. They sacrifice kids. No? They kill. They have, you know, sex. Sex rituals. Then you would see that it's not really Christian. It is demonic cult. No? It is a cult. You have to check kung ano yung napasukan mo. Is it teaching immorality? Is it teaching you to to steal, to corrupt? That it's not. Those are one tricks of Beelzebub. No? Spreading beliefs and false god. Na, ah, nakalagay pa nga dun sa video clip. Na sometimes, dinideceive na Beelzebub, no? In a form of different forms. And then you you will find out if you check on it so much that it is it is it you know, that which you are worshiping offering to to it 
all your thoughts, words, and actions when in fact, in the first commandment, we are being called by the Lord God, our Creator, from whom we came from, to love Him with all our heart, mind, strength, and body. So that's a trick. So you have to check yourself. What uh, association are you in? What organization are you in? What kind of church you are going to? When it's deceiving you that oh we are Christian, come on, sister and brother, and later on there are you know demonic sacrifices. No? There are uh, evil worships and cultism, no? sex cultism. Those are indications of hellish uh, organization or group okay so spreading flames of war so spreading flames of war no he would go to one of your companion and and tell them things even things that you did not do no in order to steer the emotions no? to uh, fixate as a nuisance no? and then that companion would go to you and slap you on your face and box you up. Sometimes it spe speaks of truth din, no? Pero para pag-awayin lang. In order to come up with a war, no? It spreads the spirit of war or flames of war. No, sa mag-asawa, sasabihan niya yung, ano, yung asawa. O yung asawa mo hindi naman galing, ano, sa office, no? He came from another place. So the woman would be, ano, will not cook any food for the husband. And the woman will not clarify with the husband. That kind of things, it does, no? Belzebub. In order to make war and conflicts. Just like what happened to me, if it's really true that, like, Archie back then was trying to card me up. But the messages did not reach me. Flowers, money, jewelry, etc. did not reach me. So... There was no clearance, no? I did not know. And then the other person got mad also because very ungrateful. And then I saw I saw her with another man, no? I was told he, that she will not be, um, she will, she cannot accept suitors. But there I, I saw, no? Uh, someone with her. Because the lady did not know. And there would be conflict, no? War is it, it is that the other person would think because I have given so much, no? I have given the letter, I have given jewelry with love, even if she would not pay those things to me, no? But I give it with love, out of love, no? But everything did not reach my hand. It's Belzebub, no? If it's really true that Mitzi and the guard and some other people got those things, it is the work of Belzebub, but the people cooperated with it. No? That is the trick, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters. No? The trick there is that the devil just presents them to us. No? Just presents the show. Just presents the option. No? As like the apple in the Garden of Eden with our first parents. But once we bite into it and obey, boom, there you go. Score for you to go to hell. You've won yourself, you just won yourself with a ticket to hell. Something like that. So really the trick is to deceive, lie, just like what scammers are doing, isn't it? No? The misrepresentors. Oh, this place is for sale. This big house is for sale. And this area where we are is ours. When in fact, it is not. So it's Belzebub that is inside that person. You know? So you see, it's either Bel Belzebub is working out on each one of us you know? as obsessed. You know? Outside of our body, they, it would be, you know, pestering us like this, like that. And they are very... They are very uh, patient. It is very patient though po, to wait until we fall no, in the trick that it has presented to us. Or through another person na possessed na po. 
it means to say that the person has you know indulged so much no already obey so much has committed crimes here and there no way that it is bad it is sinful but and yet they did it just to gain whatever they want to gain no? so yun spreading flames of fire Fla spreading flames of war and then spreading flames of lust oh ayan diba? the immorality prostitution okay. he would make the it would make the person believe that oh everything that has a commitment to other people that would be for you example everything that is for your best friend or uh, your best friend's boyfriend will be for you that is his convincing power to that person and if that person is foolish enough you no know, and once it also it also happens but in effect it has already created war isn't it and you also very last fall okay enjoy you know? it's the fall of nature of the body without control without moderation of everything you fall into it so well Cebu will just be laughing and laughing no? you fell again you stupid something like that you fool so that's it the last no? you go for prostitution pare because pagod na pagod ka naman sa work eh. na prostrate ka yata sa job well you flunk in the exam at school in graduate school, in law school in medical school sige you buy yourself a prostitute and some drugs na rin for it to relax you. You deserve it. Come on. Chill, chill. Ganun po yung mga whispers niya, no? yung, yung mga suggestions niya. And it's up to you. No? That's why we have our minds. We have our minds to use to what? And after this, what? No? After that, have sexual, have a sexual affair with your Ano yan? With your best friend's spouse, best friend's partner, sutor. Okay lang yan. It's so, ano, no? Mas exciting pagka ganyan. Yan, ganyan daw po ang expertise niya ni Belzebu. Ano? And then, yun. Next is, it possesses human body to do horrific acts. Yun na yun. Namensyo ko na kanina. It would enter the body already. No? Example po, mga prostitutes. Who knows that prostitution is already not only illegal but mortal sin no? because our body is sacred lahat po tayo wag nung isipin na yung body lang ng mga madre yung body lang ng mga pare mga consecrated bodies of those working for the church are sacred everyone is sacred everyone is sacred so we need to respect we need to feed it on time kung may pagkain naman, tapos ikaw magkikare ka rin sa iba, o oh, ikaw nga pinipid mo yung body mo, paano yung iba na wala? No? Because of Belsie Boobs temptations, ay ikurakot ko to pang Harvard ni Mini, no? pang New York University naman ni Bunso, pang medicine ni Diche, something like that. Instead of livelihood programs, food, shelter, for the poor because actually it's not yours you shouldn't be planning on money of other people oh yun po those are accomplished work of Belzebub okay. the evil prince of filth so pag napossess na po yung body ng tao niyan yan they have capacity already to kill no? mercilessly without a regret that is what's happening to my mind without regret and repetitively my dear brothers and sisters that's why we have hitmen no? they don't care they just care about money but thanks be to God for that one person I have heard I don't know if it's true that because he has seen who I am Na, nagmahal naman sa kanya nispare daw po ako that's why 
he had to, to sacrifice to be away from me na lang but thanks be to God you will be blessed I did not know no, whatever sacrifices we give no, out of love you will be blessed even if you are a criminal already that's why do not lose hope as soon as you find out upon listening to this vlog of mine and you will realize that you're one of those mentioned here come on don't despair think and then if you are ready enough be sorry to the lord god straight you know, and wait for the right time that you are properly disposed and that you find yourself a very good comfortable confessor to to um, confess all those sins that you may be absolved you know? the reason why we go to a priest in the sacrament of penance is that we abide with that um, saying of the Lord God in the Bible that whatever the apostles will bind here on earth is bound in heaven and whatever is uh, loosened here on earth is also loosened in heaven and whatever is forgiven here on earth through the apostles which is the priest is also forgiven in heaven so iyan ang tinatawag po nating absolution it's okay naman if there are no available priests of course that is what is being uh, stressed upon by christian churches is a direct confession to the lord god that's pretty much uh, natural and immediate so that's exactly what you need to be doing no upon realizing that you have committed no uh, grave sins even venial sins you may say sorry to the lord god's tree no? but especially for heavy sins mortal sins no crimes kagaya niyan euthanasia abortion prostitution etc corruption of big amounts is crime and mortal sin so as soon as you realize those things and you know that you want to give it up no? and live a peaceful life go to a priest no? and the priest should not also divulge you because of the seal of confession no? they should not no? so sometimes if they ask for your name you, ha you are not obliged to tell them no? unless you want to be directed lifetime by one priest of course they need to know your background so that they, you could be guided no? in a lifetime fashion so so ganun po so pag naposess yung human body to, the, to do horrific acts yun na, nakakagawa ng mga ng mga crimes na wala ng pakundangan no? tayo tayo ng building dito we don't care hayaan mong maghabol habol yung mga tao yan mga ganyan na ganyan na ang pananaw niya no? na feeling nila sa kanila yung lugar sa kanila ang mga ari-arian na hindi naman those are works of the devil it even pushes the person with confidence no? you go 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 